गुड इवनिंग लेट एस कंटिन्यू अवर डिस्कशन ऑन स्पाइनल कॉर्ड एपेंडाइमोमास सो इन दिस सेशन द स्पाइनल कॉर्ड एपेंडाइमोमा आर द कैंसरस आर नॉट कैंसरस लेट एस सी सो ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन व्हाट इज अ स्पाइनल कॉर्ड एपेंडाइमोमा स्पाइनल एपेंडाइमोमास आर अ काइंड ऑफ स्पाइनल कॉर्ड ट्यूमर्स So spinal ependymoma is a kind of spinal cord tumor. It arises from the ependymal cells lining the central canal of the spinal cord. Classify how do you classify them? They are typically considered benign or low grade malignant tumors. This is a good news. So they are typically benign or lower grade malignant tumors. In majority of the cases they are low grade malignant or benign tumors. so let us speak about the tumor behavior spinal ependymomas are typically slow growing tumors they tend to remain localized within the spinal cord without spreading to distant sites do they invade the surrounding tissues the spinal ependymomas can infiltrate and invade in nearby tissues within the spinal cord but they do not typically invade the structures outside the spinal cord they do not spread to distant organs and what is the mitotic activity like is it low or high the spinal ependymomas usually exhibit low mitotic activity and that is their the mitotic activity is a measure of cell division and it is typically lower in majority of the spinal cord ependymomas so how do you diagnose them spinal ependymomas are typically diagnosed through imaging tests such as an mri or ct scan but the biopsy is the fun is the biopsy and microscopic examination is compulsory to confirm the tumor's origin and characteristic so microscopical examination of the tumor which is excised during surgery is the gold standard for confirmation and diagnosis of spinal ependymomas and before surgery which is a gold standard for diagnosis the mri scan so how do you grade spinal ependymomas are graded based on their histological features including cellular characteristics mitotic activity and presence of necrosis grade 1 tumors are considered benign while grade 2 and grade 3 grade 3 tumors are classified as low grade and high grade malignant tumors what are the treatment options the treatment approach for spinal ependymomas depends on various factors including the tumor's location size grade and the patient's overall health treatment may include surgery radiation therapy and chemotherapy but the safe max the safe maximal surgical excision is a treatment of choice and this is followed by radiotherapy for any residual tumor left the prognosis for spinal ependymoma is generally favorable especially by grade 1 and grade 2 tumors that have been completely resected however the prognosis for grade 3 tumors may be less favorable due to their higher potential for recurrence and the aggressive behavior so follow up after surgery regular follow up appointments with a healthcare provider are important for patients with spinal ependymoma to monitor for any signs of recurrence or complications the follow up appointments may include imaging test neurological examinations and assessments of functional status to monitor the tumor status and the patient's overall well-being rehabilitation and supporting care may be an important part of the treatment plan for spinal ependymoma patients as the tumor and its treatment may affect neurological function and quality of life before following my advice for every spinal cord tumor your appointment with a healthcare professional is compulsory read the medical disclaimer in the description section completely 
thank you and in our next session we will speak about the various treatment options available for spinal cord affected lymphomas subscribe to this channel thank you